Hello and welcome to Tribe Topper. In this video session, you are going to learn about orbital velocity. So let's try to understand what do we mean by orbital velocity. So let's look at this figure. So here a cannon fires and if it fires some bullet from this height, it is going to throw that or that bullet would reach say somewhere here. If you fire it with a higher velocity, the bullet might reach at a farther distance. You hit it with still higher velocity, you reach still farther. So that means if you go on increasing the speed of launching or the speed of firing, the range of that bullet will keep on changing. So a stage finally comes that you fire it with such a high velocity that because of the curvature of the earth, the bullet does not fall on the earth and it just misses out the earth's surface and it goes into an orbit as shown here. So you see this is fired with such a high velocity that it will just go into an orbit. So that particular velocity is called the orbital velocity. So we can define that orbital velocity is what? The velocity with which an object misses the surface of the earth and goes into an orbit. So here this particular velocity with which this thing has been fired and it missed out the surface of earth and went into an orbit around the earth. That is called the orbital velocity. So let us find out what will be the expression for this orbital velocity. Now when anything goes into an orbit that means it is in a circular path. So it is experiencing a centripetal force which is mv square by r. So this is the centripetal force experienced by the satellite and now who is providing this centripetal force because in the previous topics where you learned about centripetal forces you know that there has to be a source of the centripetal force so if this thing has gone into an orbit and it keeps on orbiting around the earth who is providing what is providing that force to it that is the gravitational force which we talked about universal law of gravitation so there is a force g m m by r square which is providing this centripetal force so this is the gravitational force which acts as the source of the centripetal force and since it is providing the centripetal force so we will equate the two that means gravitational force is the one which is giving you the centripetal force so fg is equal to fc which means g m m by r square is equal to m v square by r. The mass we are talking of the small m is same here and here. It cancels out. The r distance cancels out. So v square is g m by r or we would say v is equal to square root of g m by r. So this is an expression for the orbital velocity. And as you can see, this orbital velocity expression depends on the mass of the planet and this distance r at which the uh, satellite is orbiting. So orbital velocity will be different for different radius of orbit and for different mass of the planet. So that's all in this video session. And in the next video lesson, you are going to learn about the energy levels from atomic physics. Thank you.